My name is Peng Lia Chan, but I'm also known as Pinky at Skidmore. I'm a business and economics double major. The first time I came to the Tang Museum was when I was a um, freshman during my first semester at Skidmore. And I came to talk to Ginger because I needed a summer job. Okay, so what do you think about using this one to work with the kids on Family Saturday? Okay. The whole conversation with her was amazing. And I felt really great. And I looked to my right and I saw those suitcases and all those boxes with the papers, with buttons and pipe cleaners and all other crazy things I've never seen before. I never thought you can use those for art. And then like all of a sudden I just, <laughs> I felt really, really happy. I thought I was dreaming or something. I think when she started working in Family Saturdays and I asked her to make prototypes, it was clear that she had skills and just knowledge in her hands that was pretty extraordinary. Part of me growing up in Cambodia and with my family background, art is something, it's like a luxury and you can't really afford it. Also, most of the time you couldn't find art supply anywhere in the country. I used a lot of things that I found around the house, like scrape from dried out vegetable or, or newspaper or fabrics. And that was my box of supplies. And my mom was so annoyed because she was saying that I was making a mess all the time and getting all, all these stuff from the street that she didn't want in her house. But I kept them anyway. And there was time that I would stay up until 12 o'clock at night to make something. And um, I would just light a candle because my mom wouldn't let me stay up too late. <laughs> So when I see something, I couldn't stop myself. My brain just like go on automatic. It's like how how did some, someone make something like this? What did they use? What did they do first and after? Coming from a third world country and a developing country like Cambodia, it's it's not practical to do art at all. And I know that deep down I wanted to get involved in international development, but still I want to do art. So then I thought if I switch from art to economics and business, I can do all those development projects that I want to do that would put me closer to the track where I want to be. But then also, I wouldn't be able to do that if I wasn't at Skidmore, because here I know that I still can work at a tank and do things that I love. It's, um, every time I come here, I feel like I'm coming closer to myself.